The elusive Pepe Gowat from the Orton Villa mine, Messina, South Africa. Now, I struggle to see color in these guys, but here I can clearly, clearly see color. Um, see the blue inclusion over there. I think we are talking in terms of Pepe Gowat. Now, first of all, let's, let's go around uh, uh, from a crystal uh, a form point of view. So we have this termination. Okay, this termination, okay, this termination, okay. When we go around like that, this whole section at the back here is contacted. So this is not crystalline. Um, we have this open section here, which is solid quartz, non-crystalline. A little bit of crystallization happening here. Now we're going to have a delve deeper into the colors we see here. Now, the colors would be the blue and the, the gray would typically be uh, a hematite uh, associated. Other typical associations from this deposit would be the, um, the epidote, the piemontite. Uh, over here, maybe a very thin layer of chalcedony running across that. But of course, the main focus would be uh, in this in this particular section. And let's just see if we can get a little bit closer here. Now, the papagoat usually manifests itself like little sprays of blue needles. I'm not sure what we're going to see here. Just go in there. Ah, uh, struggling a little bit to to uh, focus on this particular piece. Great amount of depth. There's a whole world happening in there with this blue heart. Or blue core almost in that section and then some of the blue running through that section as well uh, let's move closer maybe we can find some often there we have both adjuite and papagoite in these quartzes so I'm going to move it a little bit closer you judge for yourself if you see the other colors here um, I, I just see the blue on this particular one it actually uh, there we go look at that at that uh, lovely lovely blue there and it's it's jemmy running into it in that section running across there 